Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to compute the exponential of a matrix that has real eigenvalues. If a matrix A has real eigenvalues, A can be factored A is P, D, P inverse, where P and D are defined as follows, where D is the matrix that's diagonal with the eigenvalues of A and the diagonal. And P is the matrix of eigenvectors. And we'll see how this will help us exponentiate the matrix. So let's see an example of this. Let's find the exponential of the matrix 8, negative 10, 5, negative 7. What I'll do is I'll use this idea and I'll find the eigenvalues of A first. So to find the eigenvalues, I'll compute the determinant of 8 minus lambda, negative 10, 5, and negative 7 minus lambda equals 0. In doing this, what I'll see is I'll see that I will have lambda minus 8 and lambda plus 7 plus 50 equals 0. Simplifying this expression, I will have lambda squared minus lambda, and then I'll have a negative 56 plus 50 will give me a negative 6 equals 0 which implies that lambda minus 3, lambda plus 2 equals 0. And now we have our eigenvalues. Our eigenvalues are lambda equals 3, or lambda equals negative 2. Next, let's find the eigenvectors. So the eigenvector that corresponds to lambda equals 3 is found as follows. I subtract off lambda on the diagonal, and I will get 5, negative 10, 5, negative 10, v1, v2, equals 0, 0. And we can see that if v1 is equal to 2 and v2 is equal to 1, that I'll have a solution. So this will imply that the first eigenvector, v1, v2, will be 2, 1. Let's find the second eigenvector, corresponding to lambda equals negative 2. Then the matrix I will get in this situation will be, I'll subtract off a negative 2 from the main diagonal and get a 10 and a negative 10 and then a 5 and a negative 5. And it should be clear what the eigenvector for this will be. v1, v2 equals 0, 0. I can choose v1 and v2 to both be 1. Now I can use my factorization trick. My matrix A therefore has the form P, which is the matrix of eigenvectors. So I will have a 2 and a 1, and then a 1 and a 1. 
I will have a diagonal matrix that has the eigenvalues on the diagonal. So the eigenvalues are 3 and negative 2. And then I need to put the inverse matrix of the matrix P on the other side. Now the inverse matrix is found as follows. To find the inverse of the matrix A, B, C, D, the matrix of A, B, C, D is found by flipping the diagonal entries, D, A, and negating the off diagonal entries, negative B, C, and dividing by the determinant of the matrix. The determinant will be A, D, minus B, C. So to do the inverse of this matrix, I will flip the diagonal entries. So I will flip 2 and 1. So this will be turned into a 1 and a 2. And I will de negate the off diagonal entries, negative 1 and negative 1. And I will divide this matrix by the determinant of our matrix. The determinant is 2 times 1 minus 1 times 1. So the determinant is 0, so there's nothing to divide by here. Now this matrix P, this is D, and this is P inverse. Now, the nice thing about this factorization is when I compute any power of this factorization, if I do P, D, P inverse to the nth power, I will multiply this expression by itself n times. And every time I do a multiplication, I'll have a P and a P inverse next to each other, and those will cancel. I'll have a whole bunch of P and P inverses next to each other, and I will have N Ds in the middle. So this will be P D to the N P inverse. From this, it follows that the exponential of A will be P exponential of D P inverse by adding up all these terms. And we saw in the previous videos how we can express the exponential of a diagonal matrix by exponential the diagonal entries. From this, we can now write down our solution. The exponential of A will be the diagonal matrix P, this matrix P of eigenvectors, 2, 1, 1, 1. The exponential of the interior matrix, which will be E cubed 0, 0, E to the negative 2. And the inverse of the matrix P, which is 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2. And we have the exponential of our matrix. So to summarize, when the matrix has real eigenvalues, we write down the factorization that the matrix A is P, the matrix of eigenvectors, D, a diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues in the main diagonal, and then the inverse matrix of the eigenvector matrix. The exponential of something of this form is easy to compute. It's P, the exponential of the diagonal matrix, P inverse. And that allows us to easily compute the exponential of the matrix if the eigenvalues are real. Thank you very much.